On the 27th of November 2021, I got a DM from a friend of mine saying that I was in a Be Amazed video. He said he was just casually watching a Be Amazed video and all of a sudden he said I showed up. To which my response was a little bit like, what? Now, to understand things further, who is Be Amazed? Be Amazed is a YouTube channel with 10 million subscribers, uploading content that is supposed to make you be, well, Amazed. Now, Be Amazed just so happened to upload a video named Gamers Card Cheating Part 2. So I think I was a bit confused when I first saw this video, but as I was watching it, I came to the realization that I hadn't been featured. Well, at least not the way you would expect. The video was obviously about gamers that was caught cheating, and it just so happened that one of these gamers this video was talking about was Dream and one of his speedruns. The video then started to talk about speedrunning in Minecraft and how Dream mathematically couldn't have completed his run without cheating in some shape or form. Be Amazed continues to then cover some of the math behind the battering Dream did in his run, but that is when I saw something. Yep, that's my Minecraft username. And there are quite a few issues with this. One, in the corner there's a small transparent watermark added by Be Amazed, which I don't know if it's supposed to be the current video topic or showing who you are watching in the background, but I can assure you that that right there is not Dream playing. That is me. Oh, and to make matters worse, Be Amazed just so happened to switch to my footage right when he says, But in his run, Dream was shown successfully bartering for these 42 out of 262 times. Obviously, he is talking about Dream, but that just makes it even more look like that he is crediting Dream for that gameplay, even though it is not gameplay by Dream. Secondly, I go to the video description and see no links. No credit was given to me at all. Alright, let's take a closer look. I uploaded my video on March 30th, 2020, and BMAs uploaded their video on October 31st, 2021. Now let's take a look at exactly what BMAs took. If we put the two videos up side by side, BMAs on the right and my video on the left here, and start playing the videos at the exact same time, you can see that they are in perfect sync. As you can clearly see, that is my video that BMAs is showing in their video. Alright, but you might be asking, what is the issue? The issue here is that Be Amazed has taken footage from me and others, more on that later, without giving credit. And here is where they're straight up breaking the YouTube community guidelines. You see, I upload all my videos in Creative Commons, which means other creators have permission to reuse my video footage, but credit has to be given. I quote from the YouTube help page, Creative Commons licenses give a standard way for creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. YouTube allows creators to mark their videos with a Creative Commons CCBY license. And you might ask what the CCBY stands for, so here it is from the Creative Commons website directly. This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt and build upon the material in any medium or format so long as attribution is given to the creator. And here comes the important part. CCBY includes the following elements. BY. Credit must be given to the creator. Which, be amazed, has failed to do. To make matters worse, BMAs have added a legal stuff section to their description, which does not help them in their case. It says, unless otherwise created by BMAs, licenses have been obtained for images slash footage in the video from the following sources. Firstly, I'm not in that paste bin. And secondly, with what BMAs has written here, that would mean that the footage shown that is clearly from me belongs and is created by BMAs, which is a straight up lie and they're taking credit for something they did not make. But it gets worse. When I saw this, I decided to not just fill out a copyright claim and send it to YouTube, but I wrote Be Amazed an email and sent it to the business email they have linked. I sent this email on the 29th of November 2021, and I have yet to get a response. Either they have ignored it, or they don't check their email, which is tied to their business. But it doesn't stop there. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not the only one who has been featured without credit. Now, Be Amazed could, in theory, have asked for permission or personally know these people, but I highly doubt it. So with all this said, I have one final question to ask. How much of this channel's content is taken from other creators without providing proper credit? I think we would probably be amazed. This channel is uploading pretty often, and while it is possible to pump out that much content, especially if you have a team working every day on this, you can't help but wonder if this is kind of like the Stevie and others like him situation currently going around on YouTube. Now, I could have, like I said, filled out a copyright report to YouTube, and they could have handled this, and this is still an option for me. But if I did that, the worst case scenario for Be Amazed 
if the video gets taken down, and the best case scenario for me is I give credit where credit is due. But I would rather take this opportunity to spread the word and show what has happened here, otherwise everything would have just been swiped under the rug and not looked at again. Maybe this can reach and inspire others who have had their cuts stolen to speak up about it and expose those responsible. Now I want to make it very clear. Had BMAs just given credit, then I wouldn't be making this video. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, hit that like button and get subscribed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.